Take what is it the essence of my films, uh, trying to uh, make it as distilled as possible, and uh, also uh, trying to understand this idea of uh, how we live by scenes that are missing in our life, that there are scenes that we don't get to play, and we have to create in our own imagination. And the viewer has to also uh, live in this suspended place. And that certainly is the case with Exotica and those earlier films as well. And so we were just, you know, really trying to fine tune what made her different between these times. You know, before prison, you have the love of music there and there's more of like a carefree aspect to her. And then we go, you know, prison and we really explore her relationship with her father and how any family relationships, there are things that are triggering because there is so much history there. Um, and then, you know, the end where she kind of realizes, you know, what her dad has known. And I think she, you know, wonders if she knew what he knew, if things would be different. But I think essentially that it's her journey and she'd probably end up in the same place. That's my take though. But. <laughs> They wouldn't have known that this all started with just a stupid prank. It just set the stage for what I did. The hoax we played. Because I wanted to go to jail. I didn't want any of the students, the victims, to testify. Okay, but there weren't victims. There wasn't any sex, you just explained that. Thank you.